sugar, spice, and everything nice. Hi besties, Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a super fun one because it is a get ready with me. You guys have been asking for a get ready with me for so long and I haven't done a new one because I've actually filmed like three and I haven't been able to finish them because I'm always late to where I'm going. So today I was like, you know what girl, we're gonna take our time, we're gonna chill, we're gonna chit chat with the besties and we're gonna talk about my current favorites. We're gonna talk about my hair, I get a lot of questions about my hair, my makeup and of course my jewelry. I get asked a lot of where I get my jewelry. So first and foremost, we're gonna start talking about the jewelry and then we'll get into the face and the hair. So my jewelry is from Ana Luisa. If you guys did not know, Ana Luisa is a sustainable jewelry company that uses recycled materials which is awesome so i'm gonna show you guys my new pieces you guys know this one because i've been wearing it in my past videos i have not been able to take it off i wear it every single freaking day you guys know me i love necklaces with pendants on it my last favorite uh, was a one with a uh, black pendant let me show you guys this one is my baby so this one was my last favorite i'm pretty sure you can still find her on the website i'll leave her linked down below as well for you guys look at her she is everything again you guys know this one i wear it in every single video but i had to give her a little break and we got a new one and now it's green we're doing green now and i paired it with this other piece that i got from a layered necklace that i got from Ana Luisa. so their products are cool because you can layer their necklaces like all together and kind of make like your own unique piece another piece that i got is this gold bracelet can we please talk about it she's freaking gorgeous i love her if you pair it with like a gold watch it looks even better i also got these three earrings right over here so it comes as a set and the colors are gorgeous it gives it a really really nice pop please do not mind my um piercings the lady who pierced me she doesn't really like me and she thought my ears were too small and i mean yeah kind of they are but like nonetheless i digress next now going back to talking about my jewelry before i get distracted again their pieces are super long lasting and amazing quality i'm currently wearing a, wi a wig i'm currently wearing a ring that i purchased two years ago and it's perfectly intact it's my favorite ring i wear it every single freaking day as well as my little green necklace pendant another really cool thing about them is that they produce jewelry in small batches so they're constantly coming out with new pieces so some pieces that i mentioned in my old previous videos of my jewelry you cannot find but you'll find even better ones and newer ones and they're just constantly coming out with new products that you will fall in love with in like two seconds i'm not kidding everything on the page you'll literally be like i need it i need it i want it i'm gonna get it another one of my favorites i'm pretty sure you can also still find some products you can still find so these hoop earrings are another one of my favorites right here these are the little gold ones my i wear these every single time i go out i am a huge hoops girl they have smaller ones and they have bigger ones so they have something for everyone if you like chunkier jewelry if you like thinner more like simple ones you can also find but look at these hoops and again these hoops are like two years old this necklace is a little over a year and a half going on two years like i said amazing quality you guys definitely need to check them out trust me treat yourself they are having a 20 percent off sale on everything i will be leaving linked down below all of my favorites everything that i am wearing and also other favorites as well other pieces that i really really like and i feel like you should get i mean i feel like you should get like everything on the site but i'll be leaving linked down below all of my current favorites so do not miss out on that sale trust me you guys it's super high quality amazing quality jewelry and they're gorgeous gorgeous pieces that can elevate anything that you wear and you can wear them every single day without thinking that they're gonna go bad no baby they last a really long time you will feel like your best self in this jewelry and yeah like i was saying if you guys have any questions on the jewelry feel free to hit me up again everything will be linked down below let's get started on this tutorial hello besties time to do my hair so i'm not gonna do my hair fully on camera but i am gonna show you how i do it and the products that I use. So I use this to do my hair. This is a new me curling wand. It's very old. I can't even, I think it's like over like five years old, honestly. And she still works perfectly fine and she's incredible. She's my favorite curling iron that I own. So I use this one. I don't know if new me, new me even exists anymore. I, I feel like we used to see them so much on social media and they just like disappeared or they just like stopped using influencers, I guess. Or I just kind of like stopped paying attention. I got sucked into the hype and i was like i need this curling iron when it was popular i feel like we were all like that i feel like the makeup community and like hair community i guess it was the influencer community back in the day with makeup you were so easily influenced because bitch i was now i'm like do i really need that right now i mean sometimes i'll get sucked in but 
not anymore I have also told you guys about this blowout cream This is specifically for when you blow dry your hair But I use this for like everything So this is the Ion Shine Cream It smells so good I put this on my Amazon Favorites Everything that I mention, I'll try to put everything on my Amazon Favorites for you guys It's paraben free, I don't know what that means But I guess some people care about that And basically you put it on your hair when it's damp Or even when it's dry when you're done blowing blow drying your hair So I like to put it before I curl my hair I also use this hairspray I like it because it's lightweight It's not like too... Like it'll leave your hair like crunchy. So this is the Ion Hydraulic what? Hairspray. I don't know. It was honestly the cheapest one. And I needed hairspray at Sally's. And I got it. And I really like it. And then I also use just like some regular hair oil on my hair. This is like the most Miami hair oil you'll ever see. It says Got Gotas de Brillo. But it's hair oil. I really don't care when it comes to hair oil as long as it, it does its job. So how I like to curl my hair. I'm very lazy when it comes to curling my hair and getting ready. Because I suck at doing hair. I'm really bad at doing hair. Hair and nails. If you were to tell me that I have to do someone's hair or nails in order to save my family i'll see you guys in heaven because it's not working i cannot do it i cannot so i usually just part my hair in two chunks split it in half actually no wait hold on i'm doing this all wrong i put a little bit of this maybe like less than a dime or like a dime dot and then i'll just focus it more towards the ends and then work my way on top you guys see how long my hair is and i got a haircut not so long ago the lady barely freaking touched my head. I'm gonna try to do this, get ready with me as quick as I can. I don't want it to be like a super long one because I know those can get kind of annoying and you guys will stop watching because sometimes I get bored. Yeah, I like to split my hair in half C's and I also like to curl my hair the day after I washed it. I don't like to like wash my hair, let it dry and then curl my hair because the curls won't stick won't stay we connect my hair iron like her hair curler you guys i'm sorry i'm all over the place today yesterday was an emotional day for me an emotional day for me my ex saw my video remember how i said that he doesn't watch my videos anymore apparently he does and he lied to me so he's been watching all my videos so if you're watching this <laughs> i'm not gonna say anything because i'm gonna get you know what <laughs> ciao anyway i was like god i hope nobody watches this he was like one of the first people to see and his ass is in Colombia. Baby, why are you checking up on me when you're in Colombia? Now, I curl my hair differently. I know some people curl outward than inward, but that just has never made sense to me. So I just always curl every single curl away from my face just because I'm lazy. Does my hair always look the best? No, but it works. So then I do it away from my face. To her so then once we're done with that curl i get my hairspray and i spray her down with that enough i just kind of grab which with whatever like naturally comes out when i grab the hair i wish i did this more organized but like i said i am terrible at hair if anyone does hair can you please tell me what is the point of curling one hair inward one hair backward like it, wouldn't that make the curls look all over the place? Maybe if you had like layered hair, but my hair isn't really all that layered. Even though I asked the lady when I cut my hair to layer my hair more. I think she, she had short hair. I think she really just did not want me to cut my hair and layer it. Like I think she just wanted me to keep my super long hair. I think I'm gonna honestly cut it in like two weeks again. Doing my hair using my viewfinder as a mirror is actually not bad. So I always do my hair first before I do my makeup. I don't know how you guys can do your makeup and then do your hair. Cause I take way too long on my makeup that by the time I finish my makeup, I wouldn't have any time for my hair. So we're done with that curl. We lift it up and we put some hairspray. Oh, oh, that's all I do for my hair. And then once I'm done, I don't touch the curls. I just kind of pick up my hair and let them stay. And then once I'm done with my makeup, I'll like shake my head. This is what we're looking like. Looking like Miss Little Shirley Temple. I'm currently watching, I think I talked about this in one of my other vlogs, Santi and Soraida. I love them together. I think their friendship is so cute. I know they're like 19, 20 years old and I'm 27, but I love them and I want to be friends with them so bad. I'm going to do the other half of my head. <laughs> this is the true get ready with me because I'm so bad when it comes to hair. Clip this bad boy up. And then we're going to put the hair that I already curled on this side. All right. <laughs> and then I start from the back because I hate doing the front of my hair. So I just start from the back. And then I just do one of these. I hope. And then we just pull out. <laughs> and I'll be back. 
Okay, hair is done. <laughs> this is what we're looking like. We're gonna do one last spray. You really want these suckers to last. If you guys have any tips on how to do your hair properly, please let me know what's the proper way. Um, this is what works for me. This is the lazy girl way of how I wave my hair. Plus my hair usually like at the end of the night always looks like shit, so I kind of don't really care. So I'm gonna prep my skin, now it's time to do makeup. So I have one of these. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these in like commercials. This one's really old. And I'll usually check the stash. These, these little things come in handy. It has a little light so you see where you what you're doing. But yeah, I kind of go in like this in my face to get any hairs out because that way my foundation will look better. And then and now it's time for the brow. So as you can see a little bit, I have like little hairs coming out, but I'm just gonna like, clean it up a little bit. Like I haven't gotten my eyebrows waxed in years. I've been doing this for years. It's just what works for me. This eyebrow always grows back faster than this one. You see this one barely has any hair. I got this one at Forever 21. It's so good. The ones that you buy at CVS and stuff suck and they're so expensive. So if you go to Forever 21 and you see these, get them. They are incredible. Just be careful, they're really sharp. I've cut myself really bad with these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one eye first and then I'm going to do the other one and then the rest of the face, the rest of my face with you guys. I'm gonna do my right eye because this eye always comes out better and it'll be better for the camera. Actually, before I get started on my face, I'm gonna use my face cream. This is my Mix Easy custom made face cream specifically made for me. I'm actually running out of my products. I got a face cream and a face wash. And if you guys don't know, um, I know this is not sponsored by them, <laughs> but uh, you basically customize your own products specifically for your skin type. And like you put like your problem areas and like what you want to improve on your skin. And then you pick the ingredients. And then in each ingredient that you see on the screen, it lets you know, oh God, I got this shit all over my hair. It lets you know exactly like what it's for. And then you also can choose a scent or no scent. It's great. It's awesome. It's made specifically for you. So this is what I use. So yeah, I like to use that to moisturize my face because I got most of the ingredients for moisture because my face can either get like cracking dry or oily. So sometimes this will make me feel a little oily, but I would much rather be oily than cracking skin dry. So I feel like it's made a really good difference. I've just been a little stressed lately, so that's why my skin is kind of like acting out a little bit, but nonetheless, I've seen a difference. I'm gonna do that eye and then I'll come back to you guys and let you guys know how we do it. I got one eye done. Can you guys see? Look how pretty. Do you guys see my eye color right now? This look is so easy, honestly. The only thing that makes it hard is the wing liner. Originally, I did not do wing liner. Did I do wing liner? I did, I did, I did. You don't have to do the wing liner. I'm gonna do my brows first. So usually when it comes to my brows, as of recently, because I got a comment. <sighs> I know, I usually don't give a fuck about comments, but I got like one comment that was like, your eyebrows are so thick and I'm like, oh fuck. So I kind of stopped filling them in so much and I kind of leave them like this usually and I'll just do my makeup and then at the end I'll get a makeup wipe or a baby wipe and I'll just clean any product that was on it and just leave it as is because like the shape is fine but I'm just gonna kind of fill it just a, like the tiniest bit just because I kind of filled this one a little bit just to kind of even it out and this is the LA girl brow pencil slim brow pencil in black is brown blowing up this one I know I'm tripping for no reason and then I'm gonna take a little bit of my benefit foolproof brow powder this one is in the number five and i'm going to use their brush and just kind of put the tiniest bit on top that's fine we're fine i don't even care for my eyebrows to be perfect anymore and then i'm going to put some concealer you guys i'm running out of my concealer my favorite concealer i use the tarte tarte shape tape in 275 light medium sand and i'm it's basic it's done it's done look i'm scraping it off the sides but this concealer is so expensive that I'm like, fuck, I really gotta spend, how much is it? Like $30 on a concealer again? But with my under eye circles, it's the only thing that works. I also don't carve my brows anymore. That's a little makeup change. I feel like it looks like less, less harsh. Unless I'm doing like a Halloween look or something, I'll still clean out my brows, but I don't do that anymore. I just use a sponge that's like this and I just evenly distribute it. And then I'm going to set that concealer with some Airspun. I feel like you guys, Airspun has changed their formula or something because I got a new one recently and it just, I don't know. I feel like it kind of gives me a white cast, has given me like a white cast a little bit, but I bought it so I'm gonna use it. All right, so we're done with that. Guys, I'm telling you, this look is super easy. I'm using my Jaclyn Hill palette. She's used and abused, but she's my favorite palette ever. I love the formula in this. And we're going to go in with my favorite color, 
just go in with like a light brown it's very similar to this one but no just kidding this is like an orangey brown can you guys see so we're gonna go in with this color it's my favorite these two are my favorite of the entire palette so we're gonna go with like a brown and i'm gonna use a morphe e27 brush this is my favorite brush of all time and we're just gonna start putting this all over our eye i love this brush because it's so fluffy and it gets the job done really quick. Also, this eye is probably gonna come out a lot better because it's my right eye. My left eye, for some odd reason, is just it's always so much harder to do. So we're just gonna put this everywhere. You wanna be very generous with this since it is gonna be like the only color that's gonna go here. We're not gonna use anything on our crease, nothing. I don't use a lot of eyeshadow just because the liner kind of takes up most of the space. And the main focus is like the little glittery inner corner. And I got this inspo on this look from, fuck, I don't know what her name is on TikTok, but I saw it and I'm like, oh my goodness, I have to do this eye look. I have to do it. And then we're gonna go in with the Alyssa Edwards palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It has fun colors, it has browns, a white, the pinks, the shimmers are so nice. If I will say something about anastasia beverly hills shadows they can be kind of chalky sometimes but their shimmers are very creamy and they're so pigmented so that's most of the reason why i get my anastasia beverly hills palettes it's the same reason why i still use my subculture palette i don't really use it for the regular shadows but as you guys can see the two shimmers i've hit pan and i'm almost done they're my absolute favorite so i'm going to use beyond which is a pink I'm gonna use these two, but first I'm gonna go in with the pink. And I'm gonna use this brush. This is a Sonia Kashuk brush. All my brushes are really old, you guys. Maybe that's why I always have problems. So I'm gonna put a little bit, and a little goes a long way. And we're just gonna put it right here. And the trick to this is you don't wanna put it like all the way in the middle. It's just literally, it's like you're extending your inner corner. That. so we're not gonna put it all the way in the middle like I said it's like extending your inner corner and then I'm actually going to take cube from Anastasia Beverly Hills which is like a whitish pink holographic color you can kind of mix around your eyeshadows to do this you don't necessarily have to have these but and then oh my goodness and then you're gonna put it on your inner corner and connect it to that oh, to that eyeshadow people don't really do inner corner highlights anymore as much as like they used to back in the day but I still do. I feel like it's my favorite part of my makeup look is my inner corner. So like you guys can see, I'm going to just put it right here in my inner corner. Put a heavy, heavy duty amount. And then drag it out into the pink because the pink is a little like dark. So this is going to light it up a little bit. And it looks so pretty and then i'm going to go in with ddg ddc dd something and this is like the sh purple shimmer and like just the tiniest 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 bit like literally the tiniest bit and you're gonna put it on top of the pink this is the start of the show you guys need to run sprint to Ulta or CVS, wherever LA Girl has their products. So this is the LA Girl, I guess, shadow, and this is in Hala Glam. Look at this. And it's so pretty. It's, oh, I wish you guys can see it, but it's like a gorgeous holographic glitter. Trust me, and it's so cheap. And then you're gonna put this right there where you put the pink, and look at the difference that it makes. <laughs> it's my favorite. It looks so good. And then we're just gonna do some winged eyeliner. So I like to do my winged eyeliner a little thick. So first I'm just gonna line. And the eyeliner that I use, this is the LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner that I get at the Dollar Tree because I'm cheap. And then I like to make a line to where I want it to like start, I guess. I don't know how to explain this to you guys. I'm a visual learner. I hope you guys are too. So I want my liner to be like this thick. So I'll make a line like right here like that and then I'll connect it oh. so I can make the wing like that and then I'll just do that this eyeliner okay 
okay this eye is thicker than this one so we're gonna have to try to fix that but i'm just gonna finish it first and you go from there i've been doing the bat wing eyeliner but then which is good for hooded eyes but sometimes i just mess up and i'm like i'm just gonna do regular eyeliner i don't care cute all right we have our liner on if you have hooded eyes please make sure to let your eyeliner dry before you fully open your eyes because then you're gonna fuck it all up these in the style gala they're very cute they're kind of subtle for my liking i like my eyeliner to be my eyeliner my eyelashes to be huge they are a little long so i'm gonna trim them a little bit and i use the kiss strip lash adhesive this is the clear one that has aloe because my eyes are sensitive i don't think what makes my eyes i cry every time i go out is the eyelash glue because that eyelash glue is the best eyelash glue i've ever used it dries clear it's aloe it's hyperallergenic and it really sticks on your fucking eyes and then i'm gonna put some eyeliner right here so it all connects and i use these to put on my eyelashes these little things i used to have a specific pair i used to have two specific pairs of tweezers that were my favorite to put on eyelashes if you look back at my old makeup videos you guys will see and i lost both of them do not ask me how i lost them but i did and then i just got used to these these work perfectly fine so i like to look down and then just plop in the middle and then adjust on the sides this one honestly just got put up placed perfectly we're looking cute and gorgeous and then we're gonna go for primer honestly as of recently i've been forgetting to do primer because i just want to get out of my house but i think today we're gonna use this one because i'm running out as you can see look at the back i'm hitting pan on it and this is the elf poreless putty primer this is a dupe also if you have long nails always use your knuckle 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 yeah and then i just do this I just put it everywhere on my forehead because I got big ass pores on my forehead as of recently also I haven't even been using foundation when I go out you guys I've just been using this morphe face powder and it's so good it's so freaking good I love it it's actually my mom's uh, but I've been using it because I'm so pale and I lost my powder foundation or actually no my powder foundation is so dark from when I used to be tan look at it. did you guys see this no that's a lie there's no way i can literally use this as a bronzer at this point but i guess for today i'll use foundation so i use the superstay full coverage foundation from maybelline and i mix it with my matte and poreless just because to get like my perfect match do one of these and i go to town go under the chin make sure to get that double chin girl i cannot believe i would take almost two hours to get ready that is unacceptable if you if, you, if i ever get michelle english if i ever take two hours to get ready again and it's not a festival i want you to punch me in the face respectfully i don't think i can ever be that person ever again no 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 you guys i told this kid today to have a good day you know me being nice and he said thank you where was my like you too like i hope you have a great day as well excuse me you're done you're done if you know that reference comment it down below literally i was like uh i don't know it's, it's you guys it's those little things that give me the ick he also talks about himself a lot and i like to talk about myself a lot and if i think it's a lot maybe it's a lot we're gonna put on some concealer hold on let me do this my camera's getting dark which means i've been filming for too long you know how the girlies now do their concealer like here and here that doesn't work for people that have really bad under eye circles like i do I gotta put that, I have to put the shit everywhere. And then we're going to set my face with my air sponge. And I'm using this sponge. This is the powder sponge from Real Techniques. And I really like it. I feel like it really sinks in the product. My nose was itchy. My nose is itchy. But I will say I do not bake anymore. But I will say my number one trick is always make sure to like double set around your chin. Because that's where like well i don't know where you guys are from but comment down below where you're from and if this is a normal thing but every time you say hi to someone here in miami you give them a kiss on the cheek or like a hug and that is the chance that's usually where your makeup gets on people so i always like to really set around here so i'm not that person that's like damn this bitch really fucking dirty my shirt with her makeup you see how it like makes a white cast how my foundation first looked really dark and now it, it doesn't i always like to clean a little bit on top just so i know where to overline that's my little trick there i always use a wipe to help me shape out my lips because if i leave the makeup on it like erases your lips and you don't really know what the shape of your lips are so i kind of i got a paypal notification from 
one of the guys, my regulars, that buys my panties, and he just gave me $100. And it says, for the most gorgeous Latina in all of Miami. That's my baby, shout out to you. Oh, that's very sweet of him. Oh, that made my day. You guys already know, I've been using this for years and she's almost done. I think it's almost time to repurchase another one. We're just gonna dip in this brush. This is like a brush from like CVS, honestly. Can I just go in like that, do this? There we go, do this by the temple so it connects. And now I just kind of put bronzer where it has to go. Perfect, all right. And then we're gonna do some blush. I think I'm gonna use this one. This is Wet n Wild Blush in Mellow Wine. It's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous color. As of recently, I'd like to put my blush more like up here than like on my cheeks. So like right here, I feel it's very cute. And then I'll bring like the excess here. And then a little bit on my nose give it a cute little look our lower lash line which is very very simple honestly i'm gonna take this brush this is my favorite lower lash brush this is a luxie 223 short shader brush she's cute and we're gonna take the same brown that we used on our eyes and we're just gonna go in honestly to me i don't even care if it's messy because my eyes are so wrinkly you can't even notice and then we're going to go in with the pink and the purple but only on the outer corner so like it kind of like connects like that like not all the way it looks so cute i'm gonna use this sonia kashik brush 202 brush and then we're gonna add a little bit of the purple this came out so cute i think we're good it's giving me tricks yogurt vibes when it was like the pink and the purple one that's what it's giving me and if you want to be crazy you can add a little bit of glitter all right you guys and that's about it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it this is the end product of the makeup look so my camera actually got a little hot so i had to let it cool off but i just finished off my makeup i just added some mascara on my lower lash line and i added my favorite lip liner as you can tell it's done i have to go get a new one but they're super affordable it's morphe lip liner in sweet tea this is my favorite lip liner ever look at this color it is gorgeous so yeah that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed it i just kind of took off my clips and shook my hair and this is what my hair is looking like i mean she's not a pro at hair but i feel like it's not that bad if you like this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below for more videos every single week also make sure to follow me on all my socials i leave it linked down below for you guys also i will be leaving linked down below the pieces that i showed you guys earlier from anna luisa make sure to check out their website they're currently having a 20 percent off everything you definitely don't want to miss it these products are my favorite you guys know the only jewelry that i ever wear on my videos is from anna luisa i'll be leaving linked my pieces down below as well as their link i love you guys so much always remember to be kind to one another and i will see you guys on my next one mm.